Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are checking out a game called Dawn of Titans, which came out pretty recently, at least on Android, I think on 6th of December. Maybe the iOS guys got it first, I don't know. But it's, but it's pretty recent, and the thing that this game is touting is the graphics. It's, it is say that it has some of the best graphics on, you know, on a mobile platform. Well, if you ask me, I won't say it's the best that is available out there, but it is pretty impressive. Like, yeah, if you see this water, this thing, this entire greenery and stuff, this is pretty impressive. So, what I want to do right now is give you a quick overview of this entire game, how things go on around here, so that you can actually familiarize yourself before starting to play it. Or if you have already started playing it, well, just enjoy the video whatsoever. So, let me just tell you, what is this thing right here? So every day you can come here and you can get some bonus and sometimes you unlock some titans or sometimes you unlock some relics, whatever. It, it just depends on your luck. You can unlock every, I think, a few, I mean every day I think. This is a daily bonus sort of thing. And also, this is the Hall of Titans where there is, you know, the, the titans you have collected so far, they get stored here. I shouldn't say stored, like there's some kind of... <laughs> inventory stuff or something but all your titans li live here and you can choose any one of your titans and play with it and you need to actually upgrade so say for example this guy is at level 3 and this thing I got very recently this Alina yes Alina I, th I got it very recently and she's at around 33 I mean she's at level 1 and has 33 you know strength or hit or whatever and this guy's got 42 so you can actually level up now how does how do they level up the more xp they <coughs> the more xp they earn <coughs> what's happened to my voice okay the more xp they earn the you know the more powerful they become eventually so i haven't actually jumped into any sort of uh, what do you call that any sort of multiplayer match get the hell out of here get any, any kind of multiplayer match but i do intend to in this episode if i can actually i have no that was probably a you know tutorial sort of thing so this is your barrack where your uh, your army gets trained let's see what we have here so yes you, your army gets trained here so right now our army can hope uh, you know hold rather three set of you know troops I mean three set not uh, in like three types of troops three set of troops like you know there will be one group of militia or two groups of militia backed by one archers like that sort of thing when I do a battle you probably figure out what I'm, what I'm trying to say but you know let's just suffice on that much explanation and also you can grow your food you use the food to train the, your army and on uh, you use this thing to you know upgrade stuff say for example this thing right here this is a stronghold of the castle as you can say so the next upgrade is at 6,000 gold coins, which obviously I don't have right now and I don't intend to upgrade so fast. I want to do the other upgrades as much as I can. Now what is this armory thing? So upgrade troops here to make them more powerful, upgrade the armory to increase the maximum level of troops. So that's pretty explanatory I'm thinking, so let's see what the temple is. The temple allows you to summon titans and gain powerful items. Come back every day for a free relic. This, that's the same thing as that one. I'm just going to show you. This is the same thing. There's a daily bonus stuff that's going on. So probably we are going to learn. Okay, let me just collect this thing. 379 of these. Okay, okay. Storage full? What? So where exactly is the storage? Now, I won't pretend that I know everything about this game because I've just played it, you know, for a couple of days maybe. So probably we need to upgrade this thing. Of course we need to upgrade this thing. So let's upgrade this thing so that we can actually store all this stuff. But it's going to take some time. And during the first few upgrades you're given an option to, you know, just skip the entire time process or something for free. You don't need to spend any change. You can do that for free. But, you know, once you reach a certain level, you got to pay. You got to pay with gems. So while it actually happens, let me just take you, walk you through the fight club. <laughs> I won't say fight club. Also, when you do certain, I mean, accomplish certain tasks, you are given a kind of, I have done no recent attacks, you're given sort of, you know, these things, you're given gems. 
So we are gonna collect them. I got a lot of them actually. Collect as many as we can. Okay, so the next one is from the Reign of Arrows. Or rather the yes uh, and join the alliance once we join an alliance we can get around what 500 dice five come on I keep pressing the wrong buttons why yeah once we join an alliance we can you know get 500 gems but first we need to uh, join an alliance before before we actually join an alliance I want to show you some you know one of those campaign missions should I call it campaign missions because they're just you know non online I mean offline battles you can do so this thing is pretty impressive this is actually the entire map that's going on around here so right now as you can see I have wait a minute sir I'll get back to you let me just explain certain things to my audience all right okay so once you you know invade a you know place like this like ours is a place this guy's a place so once you invade a certain place you can actually take their resources like whatever they produce per hour you're gonna get that which is kind of cool so let's see what this guy has to say Ralph says today's world is a dangerous one my liege earn thousand BP by raiding and capturing lands and you can join in an alliance to play with friends and grow stronger together so basically it wants me to I mean he wants me to join an alliance but for that we need a thousand VP something we're not even close to so what do you expect me to do you need to earn 1000 VP before joining an alliance you have 275 out of 1000 I know and I don't care okay so let me just pick up my food storage is full of course the storage needs to be you know upgraded as fast as we can so what I'm gonna try to do is go back to some of the live battles. I mean what am I talking about live battles I'm talking about the campaign missions because that's not gonna take anything so I can actually show you one battle and if possible I'm also gonna show you a multiplayer battle so let's just jump into the investigator realm where magic causes the dead to rise so this is gonna be a little bit tricky I think so let's enter this place enemy territory so this is the one so we need to raid it but before we do that we actually need to you know create some army for that but what I was saying is that we can take two groups of militia so but the problem is I'm not quite sure as to whether I should take two groups of militia and one group of archers or rather I should take two groups of archers and one militia because you know as they said they cause the dead to rise and in case of archers it'll be easier for them to actually kill a lot of people in just one shot instead of the militia so I think I'm gonna go with a militia that's one militia wait a minute what did I just do what did I just do Alright, so what they have is level 1 militias, all of them level 1 militias, but they have this strange troop which I haven't quite faced before, which actually rises from the dead or something, so for that I think I'm gonna take two, no, one militia, and two archers maybe, no, I, I think I'm just gonna stick with the you know, original plan, something I've been doing from the very beginning, now if that doesn't work, properly then probably I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit with two archers and one militia so let's do the battle now you do have spells which I haven't yet unlocked they have given me some sort of I mean some sort of sh what should I call it some tutorial as to how to use spells but I don't have any spells right now so let's just battle with whatever we've got so here we are in the battleground so we have around four minutes or three minutes fifty seconds to Malias, I mean, let me just talk you through it. Three minutes, forty-six seconds to actually plan this thing. Collect these spells and use them to defeat the troops. So we have three minutes, thirty-four seconds to actually plan this attack, and then we can, you know, press this fight button to do whatever we want. So, do we see any traps here? No, we don't see no traps here so far. So what we're gonna do is just tell them 
to go forward go in this direction all right you guys you attack these people you attack these people you guys just move forward all right just freaking move forward that would be of immense help just freaking move forward because they need some space okay i think you're gonna need some more space all righty okay no problem all righty all righty we got two minutes no need to hurry that should be ample i think so let's just let's just do the fight button and let's see what happens we got some spells all right so spell is done i mean spell i've got the spells let's drop them let's drop some here oh the second one was totally a waste 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 okay we didn't need once one of the spells that was pretty fast that was pretty easy that was too easy i hope there there are no traps of course there are traps no there are traps the battle isn't over yet so okay drop oh no don't don't charge at them just hit them ah here we go this should be great all right now now here we come drop on them yes drop on them and some people are coming in this direction we should probably take care of them but maybe not we have to take care of the master yes we have one that was kind of easy a little bit confusing but easy no nonetheless so we have some spells i thought i didn't have any spell but it seemed that we did have a spell we had to collect it to use it so rewards fireball 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 1025 food 2050 gold all righty then so so both of us have certain levels my titan needs to upgrade in a separate way and i need to upgrade in a separate way so as you can see the titan is at level 3 out of 20 and i am at level 2 out of 50. so let's continue that kind of gives you an idea now the thing is i'm not actually sure as to whether i should use the gems because these gems they actually cost you so i'm not as quite sure as to whether i should be using uh, them to heal my troops or just leave them and let me use the food to heal them so i'll since it's just gonna use four gems i think i'm just gonna i don't know i'm just gonna use the gems to heal them but then again i'm in a sort of a dilemma because i have a lot of food so i don't actually need to spend those gems so i'm just gonna skip that thing i'm not gonna heal them i'm just gonna feed them farm upgraded with the titan's return magic has grown stronger now you my leech can wield it okay so now we can actually alrighty alrighty what use is magic next to loyal soldiers and good shops to shut up to defeat a foe who uses magic bellic we must use magic ourselves was that too difficult huh the sign of life so I don't think I'm gonna do this thing in this video guys because it's already I mean 17 almost 17 minutes my recording software says it's 17 minutes so I'm gonna stop this video here let me let me just you know figure out if you guys like it or not and then I'm gonna just continue with the series of this thing so yes I'm just gonna stop it here if, if you guys liked it and want more of these things just hit the subscribe button and like button below and if you want more you know if you have some suggestions that you want to make or any kind of comments just use the comment section below i'll be happy to check whatever you have to say so till then keep gaming you guys rock and i'll catch you guys in the next one